I'm going to show you how to record from Audacity to record voiceovers. I will show you an example of recording Pythagoras' responses. Um, and actually what I want to show you is I'm going to have my script open. While I do this, you won't be seeing the script, you'll be seeing just my Audacity recording. Um, and when I do this, I will only be giving Pythagoras' answers. And you'll notice that I will be pausing in between so that my file has clear gaps in it, which will make it easier to video edit when I get to that piece. Audacity can be found on the desktop. This is what it looks like. So you double click and it opens. And before you start recording, I know you've already set up your microphone's recording level, but you have to tell Audacity you are using the USB microphone. And you should also set it to record in stereo. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit and Preferences. And this is where I want it to be stereo. And the device should say USB audio device. If you don't do that, your, the quality of your recording won't be as good. In fact, you might not even hear it very well. The other thing that I wanted to remind you of is, um, I think I forget. So I'm ready to start recording. Um, oh, I remember what I wanted to remind you of. Keep your vo keep the microphone on the desk and just keep your your head and mouth where it is when you sit normally. If you go too close to the microphone as I'm doing right now, you should be able to notice that the quality is just not as good. Now that I'm back sitting up normally and the microphone's a little bit away from me, hopefully you will notice that it's a better quality sound. Okay, I am ready to record, so I will click this and read from my script. Hello. I was born in Greece and I'm a mathematician as well as a philosopher. Yes, there was even a religious movement called Pythagoreanism. I would have to say the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so I, this happens sometimes, it is such a drag. So I'm going to close the program, I'm going to open the program, oh. Yes, I'm just going to have it delete it, and I'm going to try again. I think that my settings will be the same. It remembers the USB audio device, and it remembers that I want to record in stereo. And here I go again. Hello. I was born in Greece, and I am a mathematician as well as a philosopher. Yes, there was even a religious movement called Pythagoreanism. I would have to say the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so hopefully it won't crash on me. It, it's kind of unusual that the, the wave length here looks a little low. I'm going to listen to it. I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but I need to check the quality of my audio. It sounds okay to me. It might be a little low. Um, you can see that my audio feed right here is all the way up. I could go back to the control panel and turn the recording level up a little bit. I'm not going to do that because you guys know how to do it. For now, I want to show you what to do if you have a workable file. Um, actually, if this file isn't good enough, you just close this to delete it, click record again, do your answers, Hello. I was born in Greece, and I am a mathematician as well as a philosopher. Yes, there was even a religious movement called Pythagoreanism. I would have to say the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I would listen to that again, um, correct it again if I needed to correct it again. But you can see, even though these wave lines are pretty small, you can see that this is probably where I paused. And that's going to help a lot in Premiere when you go to edit. So the flat lines usually mean no sound. So I'm ready to use this. I'm going to go to export as MP3. Um, shoot, I'm trying to remember if that's the best. I'm going to do two, two versions. I'm going to do MP3. And I'm going to go to the folder I made. And I'm going to call this Pythag voiceover 
and click save. Oh, it's not supposed to do this. So much is going wrong. Okay, um, we must not have Audacity 2.0 on these machines. Nope, we don't. So I'm going to export it as a WAV. This might be the better version for Premiere Elements anyway. So I'll call it Pythag VoiceOver. And it's in the folder where all of my other stuff's going to be. And I'll click Save. Okay, so that was a very long explanation um, for something that's pretty easy. Um, and I think the WAV file is fine. So we'll stick with that. Okay, hope it helps. Bye.